Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in beautiful, mountainous Colorado today, where the most expensive house is $100 million. Uh, not quite a contender to the last episode in California, but pretty darn close. And you can see from this picture and especially from the next one here, that they are very proud of their proximity to the Silver Queen gondola. I assume that's like the ski lift thing. I've mentioned this before. I'm from the Midwest. You know, I, I think that mountains are God's way of saying stop. Don't go here. You know, I think I think if God wanted us to go up and down mountains, then she would have made falling hurt less. Uh, but that's just me. I also think that skiing, I've never been skiing. I think it's a ridiculous hobby to say that you would just like to be cold and falling for several hours and pay exorbitantly for the pleasure. That's That's what I'll say about that. But let's take a look at this 10 bedroom, 12 bath ski house which I would like to think that this is someone's primary residence, but I mean, the, the proximity to the ski lift, it's kind of like, it's kind of like advertising that your house is right next to a major highway, isn't it? Like how, how loud are these things? I don't know. I don't go skiing because I'm normal. Um, I, that doesn't seem appealing to me. And so I suspect this might be someone's ski house which mm, enrages me a little bit that someone would have a hundred million dollar second home. Uh, to that, I just say guillotine. Maybe instead of buying a second hundred million dollar home, maybe you just, you know, give all of your staff a million dollar raise and see where you're at after that. Just a thought. Here we are inside and we can see that this is uh, a lot. The, the circles, are these lights or are they just ceiling circles? It's unclear to me, but it's it's very artistic, I guess. It, this seems modern to me, and then these vase things seem very not modern. And then again, this table is very like sleek and mod. It's a mismatch to me. You know what I'll give it? I will give it that the obligatory rich people foyer table normally has a chandelier over it. This is, that's, that's a twist on the chandelier. So they've, they've gotten creative there. Moving on. Oh God, there's a lot of pictures. We're going to have to go faster than this. All right. They've got some color. They've got some color in here. We've been through quite a few really disgustingly bleak white. Um, you got, you know, big windows bring the outside in. Pops a color here, pops a color here. Um, oh, we've got, you got it. You got it. We got a TV over the fireplace. Uh, we, you know, we know to expect it, but we still, uh, still have to pour one out every time. There we go. The view from above. We got solar panels. Love the environment. Love nature. All right. Uh, more views of the freaking ski lift. Hope you like skiing. Here we go. So many pillows. That's so many pillows for an outdoor space. And <laughs> I just think about the poor photographer that had to sit there and arrange like 10 pillows. At least they, did, they didn't knife hand them. They're not knife handed pillows and they get points for that. So that's, I, I'll, I'll give, I'll give the credit where credit is due. Kind of cool walkway. Got an outdoor space. I think, is this the front door? I think this is. I think that's how you get to the front door. <laughs> which is giving, it's giving drawbridge. It's giving, I need to keep the peasants out if need be. They've, they've probably got like, like covert TNT blaster caps under this so they could just blow this bridge out if the riffraff gets too close, you know? All right, we've got uh, another view of the foyer. Looks like there's a little couch up in there. Got some art on the walls here. This, it's a little, I mean, the, these, these grand foyers always look a little museum-y. Uh, this, I guess, it at least looks like a modern museum. 
All right, we are back in that living room. We got this big, it's, you know, open concept can be nice, except when the open concept is just revealing that you've got so much space that you've literally got, look at this, it's living room, dining area, living room, dining area. It looks like another living room through there. I can't really tell. It could be a dining area. But regardless, that's that's just too much space. Come, you got to get creative. Come up with something else, my dude. Um, I think those are skylights. That's kind of cool. Those look like maybe tin ceiling details. Let's see. Oh, we're going to move to another area. Uh, no, this is, this is just that same area from another angle. Big, big windows. Uh, I imagine that is just a pain in the ass to keep clean, but you've thankfully got a disgusting amount of money and you could just pay people to do that. Maybe you should pay them more. Maybe so you can't afford your third house. Um, another view, same space. Is this, is that plant real? Was that in the last? No, that's, I think that's a stone sculpture of a plant. God forbid you should have anything living in here. You've got cut flowers, at least. Uh, those those are those tin ceiling details. I do like those. Those are, in fact, skylights. Here's the kitchen area. Got a little step up into it. Uh, another view on... Oh, yeah, that's that's yet another dining area. So, living room, dining area, living room, dining area, dining area. How, how many people are, you know, using, how do you decide? How do you decide when you walk in this room, you have to decide between literally five different spaces that you can sit in? Do you pick a favorite and just use it all the time? Or do you change it up day by day? I don't know. I don't know how you deal with that. All right, we've got, they... They knife handed those pillows a little bit. They they chewy knife handed the pillow, but it's not it's not egregious. It's a subtle it's a subtle chewy knife hand. That sounds like a, a martial arts move. The subtle chewy knife hand. These are. It's interesting that they've got the variations here. They've got the the glass toe buster, and then they've got the stone toe buster. Um. Hmm. All right. We've got a couch. We've got a couch because there wasn't enough seating in this area. Is you know, I'm I'm glad that they put that in there because I looked at this whole open concept area and I thought, where will I sit? Um, so I I'm glad they put that couch there in case anyone gets tired while cooking in this kitchen that has no visible fridge. Is this an actual kitchen? They do like to disguise, they like to disguise their fridges because it's a little too plebeian to eat. Um, they, they can't show that they're human. We've got another dining area, which is, which is really nice because there weren't, there weren't enough dining areas to sit in uh, elsewhere in the house. So it's nice that they've got this space where they can go and eat. Um, it's an interesting light fixture. The table is too wide. You would have to shout across this table. Um, it's necessary to fill in the space because the space is too big. But, you know, it's, I guess if you hate your family, that helps. All right. We've got an office. I like, I like the art. You know what? They've made good art choices in this house. They've got an interesting vase with, like, the bent over flowers. Um, this is a little bit 70s, which I'm kind of into. I'm kind of into that, that 70s style. Yeah, just, just your standard desk and it's closed. I like that they went that, you know, even though they're going modern styling, they didn't try to do the, the open desk, which is just a mess of wires. Um, all right, let's, let's keep trucking along. We're not even halfway through. Uh, we've got another, no, that's the same office. Got a TV so you can watch the stonks. Uh, all right, we got a, oh, we got a seating area. Um, that's cool. That's cool. That's, I think that's another art piece, but I like that pop of color there. That's really cool in a hallway. Um, hallway area. Oh, this is, this is to the bench of a million pillows. 
So you got kind of an indoor outdoor space here. This is the real kitchen. I don't know what that one out there. Maybe that was like a bar or something. I don't know. This is the real kitchen. Uh, and you know what? The refrigerator is not even it like it definitely does blend. But those those are pretty blatant refrigerator handles. So it's it's only semi blended. Uh, all very modern. It's a it's a nice kitchen. I guess it's got a it's got a skylight there. That's cool. You got bowls of apples, they like sh the shitty green apples. Uh, that looks like a bowl of lemons. Of course, you need a bowl of lemons. I uh, got plenty of cabinet storage here. Oh God, that is. I sure as hell hope that they did the. Uh, that this was from an indigenous artist, but I fear the worst. I fear the worst. I do. Um, I'm just gonna, for the sake of my own mental health, I'm, I'm gonna say that they went and they found an indigenous artist and they paid them a fuck ton of money for this statue and that this is not an appropriative piece of shit. All right. So, there's more how many pillows are out here like in an outdoor space how many how do you keep track of that many pillows like surely some of them get lost over here right that's it's too many it's too many we've got another outdoor space here got this nice little sitting area over here um again though the space is too big so you have both a table and a sitting area which you know it's, it's nice that I can see that dining table is over here, and so it's nice that it's only, what is that, six feet away from yet another dining table. That's, that's really convenient. Uh, we've got, this is for the, the workaholic in your family, that your desk is only th four steps away from your bed. You know, the, the poor really, um, we really don't appreciate the luxury of having that in our homes. You know, when you're living in a little one-bedroom apartment and, and your desk is like right up in your bedroom, uh, that's that's a luxury that the poor overlook because the, the rich, they've got these huge homes. They have to really intentionally do this to themselves. But thankfully, they've got this big-ass curtain that they can pull close to, to make those separate spaces All right, that's more of this area. <laughs> We've got another couch in the bathroom. Is that velvet? Did they put a velvet couch in the wettest room in the house? That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And they knife handed the cushions. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love everything about this. No notes. Kind of cool. All right, we got a, we got the big shower. We got kind of a cool thing here. Um, yeah, all right, that's, is this, this is a different area, this is a different kitchen, this is a second kitchen in the house, why, um, more dining space, more sitting space, do you just, do you just get bored? of eating in the same place and so you're like you know what let's sit in dining area number five tonight that'll be a fun change up uh dear god dear all right we we've <laughs> but thankfully thankfully they have uh included the tv over the fireplace in this second area of the house also so you you're not missing out on that we've now got two tvs that need to be replaced on an annual basis all right we've got uh, some cool art we've got the of course the in-home theater gotta have that uh more you you hope this is by an indigenous artist you really do but you're not optimistic about it um all right you get in-home in-home theater where you can watch the tv that hasn't been roasted Another bedroom, another bedroom with an office. 
because we have healthy work-life boundaries. That's what we have in this household. Uh, and, and there's a TV in the bedroom, so you can really demolish your sleep hygiene in every way imaginable. That's the goal. That's how we get mentally healthy people uh, in power. That's, that's, <clears throat> oh boy. Another bathroom, big, big shower, uh, his, hers, sink. Uh, you know what, they were, they've been doing all right with color, but this is a very gray room. And it's got another desk and another TV. This is, this is why society is the way it is, because people with ungodly amounts of money have ungodly amounts of power and they all have just deranged themselves with sleep deprivation and poor work-life balance and this is the they're they're sitting here or they're in bed and they're watching the stocks on tv it's it's not healthy it's not healthy we're gonna keep moving we've got another bathroom with a weird little sitting area here all right we've got uh another gray bedroom this is very beige we've got a tv this is, why does every bedroom need a TV? None of the bedrooms should have TVs. We got another bathroom. It's very white. The, they were doing so well with color, and now everything is just beige. Beige and white and gray. Um, and another desk. And another TV. What is with this? That's, why do they, have you seen a dresser? In any of these rooms, I've not seen a dresser unless there's clothing in here. I think this is someone who, like, misunderstands what furniture is standard in a bedroom. Like, they they somehow got it mixed up and they think that you're supposed to have a desk instead of a dresser. It's the other D furniture. Another bathroom. Another beige room. Oh, there's a dresser. And a TV. Dear God. Another bathroom. That one's got, it looks like a big tub over there. Kind of gray. This has all gotten very depressed. Gray. I'm so depressed. And a TV. This is, my, my soul is being sucked out of my body with every one of these rooms. It's bay. Oh, uh, we got two beds. Is this, is this a hotel? At least hotels put colors in their rooms, you know? It's like a bad hotel. We've got a workout room. Okay, you know what? They've got a lot of equipment in here. I kind of respect that. They've got, they've got, you know, the treadmill. They've got some, is that, that's an ab, adductor, abductor thing. And got some bikes going on. Um, no squat rack. I don't see a squat rack. That's missing. Um... Oh, it's a twofer. It's a twofer. We got the billiards table. If you don't have a billiards table in your rich person house, are you really rich? Are you? And then we've got the home movie theater. Didn't we already see a home movie theater? Are there two home movie theaters in this house? That's, uh, I guess that's for when you and your family can never agree on what to watch. And God forbid you watch the TV in one of your many many bedrooms <laughs> and we're back outside you know what it's a really it's a really good thing that they're so close to this ski lift because a house with 20 tvs in it really tells me that these are some active people that like to to get out and and see the world um what is that i don't even have a guess on what is what is that the panopticon i think that's the panopticon yep yep that's that's the vibe i'm is that, what is that i how did they what how did they hold that for the end they they let they lured me in they like they took me through the whole house like oh yes it's just a normal modern rich person to have boom boom right at the end we've got We've got the surveillance tower. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. We're moving on. We're looking over the little people. It's, 
you know, there's there's trees. You could ski. Um, got the the property line stuff. Oh boy, the fact that this is probably not someone's primary residence is so deeply upsetting to me. Maybe you know what? Maybe I'm gonna comfort myself here. Maybe this is someone's primary residence, but they usually have a lot of guests uh, that come in to ski, to to visit at their house where they ski. Um, God. And then they put all of their guests in these depressing beige, gray, soulless rooms um, so that they feel a little less depressed when they go out to be cold and falling on the ski slopes. This is... This this is the environment that creates people that think skiing is fun. You know what? That's what this is. This this is the derangement. This is an active campaign of derangement that results in mountain living and skiing. And that's that's what you can take to the bank, kids. It is. Um, exactly. This is exactly what I would expect from someone that lives on a mountain by a ski resort. This this is what it gives you. Mm, mm. So that's Colorado. That's Colorado for you. Uh, full offense to all Coloradans. Um, and, you know, do do your thing. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you're if you're outraged and you think I have discriminated against the mountain people, uh, you leave leave some hate. And have a good one.